Hello friends, I'm Tunde Duganci, Hungarian gingerbread artist, and today we will create some vintage looking Christmas ornament cookies. I start with a Christmas ornaments flooded white and completely dry. These shapes are my design and uh, the cookie cutters are available at cookiecad.com. These are about 4 inches in size. And the first step, as a first step, I will airbrush the cookies with true color bronze shine color to give them this vintage look. I already have some fondant accents, some gum paste, uh, holly leaves, and some sugar beads I plan to use uh, for these designs. And around these bigger design elements, I will uh, pipe some lace design. So first I just check how much room my main design element will, uh, elements will take up. And I use brown piping consistency icing to pipe some border patterns to the remaining places. And I will let this dry. So here is the second cookie, again piping the border patterns to the places where I don't have the fondant. Here is the third one. And as you can see, this lace design, they are basic lace elements put together. If you do it step by step, it's not hard at all. And I'm already at the fourth one. And when they dry completely, I will be able to paint them with the same bronze color. But until they are drying, I use airbrush colors to color these fondant accents. Of course, you can use gel food colors if that's what you have at home. It doesn't really matter. And as you can see, my fondant accents are not white. I like to give uh, add a little bit of brown color to, especially for the full fondant accents. But even for these, if they don't, if they have this brownish base color, then it will be more vintage looking. You will not have those harsh, vibrant colors when you paint them. So I'm painting all these pieces with food coloring. an acorn. This is a Katie Sue design. And I can put this on the cookie using the icing as glue. These are holly leaves made of gum paste. I made them. And I used some red sugar beads with it. The next one is easy. It just gets this one fondant piece. But it's a beautiful 
highlight there. So this one will have this pine cone and I will pipe some pine branches around it with green piping consistency I think Stick that pine cone in the middle. Maybe I add a few more pine needles here and there. Here it is. And the last one. Again, a holly leaf with a ribbon. When they dry, I go back to my bronze shine color and go over the lacy elements to give them a nice shine. And you know, honey gingerbread stays nice forever, so if you like these ornaments, you can keep them for the years to come. But if you don't like clutter, Honey gingerbread stays fresh for months, so you can just eat them after the holidays and you don't have to worry about storage. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and push the notification button. And check back every Saturday, I'm posting one new video per week. Hope you enjoy this project and see you again next week.